Hi friends, my name is Paula Ferris. I am a journalist and author and most recently the founder of Carry Media, which exists to champion working moms. And I hope that this verse brings you some comfort despite what's going on in our world, a world that can be so divisive and unsettling. It is found in the book of Isaiah chapter 26, verse three, and it says, you shall keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. That is from the Life Application Bible, but said another way from the New Living Translation, it says you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Peace is something that we need so desperately right now, and the Bible has so much to say about it. It's mentioned hundreds of times in the Bible, but nowhere is peace found more than in the book of Isaiah. And I've learned this may be the only reference in the Bible to perfect peace. Do we find our peace from which politicians have been voted into office? By how much money is in our bank account or maybe our relationship status or is our peace determined by the one who is in control of it all? Friends, this perfect peace is accessible to you and me if we keep our minds and thoughts fixed on God. Now, a little context for you. When Isaiah was writing this, he actually wrote it as a song, thou shalt keep him in perfect peace. I'll spare you the rest and won't sing it for you, but he's writing it to God's people who are being severely oppressed by their enemies. And yet they were able to tap into this perfect peace because their minds and thoughts were fixed on God. So friends, I know it's challenging right now. There's so much going on in our lives and our circumstances, but I just want to encourage you that this perfect peace is available and accessible to you and I if we keep our minds and thoughts fixed on God. I'm Paula Ferris, and it has been an honor to bring you today's verse.